comedy? I well, I started out as a um, when I was six years old. I started doing like magic and stuff, and then Ooh, I the went magic. into juggling and um, unicycling and all those circus type skills. And when I was in third grade, I remember. Um, in Michigan, I was stood in front of the class and said I wanted to be a comedian, or I said I wanted to be a magician okay. and live in Las Vegas. And I didn't even know where that was other than How that's where magicians. did you come up with Las Vegas? Yeah. So well, I just knew that's where magicians, you know, went. What? So you know, it was being Green talked Roy. about at that, at that Oh, age. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's yeah. But I, but I, what really happened is I start. I was a pr street performer for many years. And um, when I started doing comedy, um, the very first time I started doing comedy, the ceiling was too low to juggle. <laughs> and... And I only had five minutes to do, and I had a 30-minute street act, so I took the five minutes of jokes that I had in the street act and just did those, wow. and they went fine. So instead of writing new juggling material, I just started writing new jokes. So it was very organic how it, I mean, I knew I wanted to perform since I was six, but it never really dawned on me whether, but the comedy boom in the 80s yeah. really kind of dictated it. What kind of reaction did you get from the kids when you said I wanted to be a comedian? Did oh, well, they were or? laughing at me anyway. <laughs> like, I, I couldn't get them to stop laughing at me, so I just started like, you know, charging. Let me just uh, you profit off of this, Yeah, right? I mean, I was, yeah, I mean, I was always, I wasn't really the class clown or anything. I was pretty, um... Geechee, you're very tall. How tall are you? I'm about 6'4". Were you always yeah. tall as a kid, too, or did you... Yeah, I wasn't always 6'4", but I was always, <laughs> I, but I was always the back row of the school pictures. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you I was were always one of those. Okay. One of the, I now, was, you used to also perform at Hooters. You had your own show, I which Dirty I joke saw show you there. It was years. hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, that did was you always go downstairs and have wings? All the time. Yeah, we used to go there. Well, I lived there. Right. I actually lived at Hooters for the year and a half. That oh, first how about yeah, that? So yeah, so I, I li lived on, I mean, I ate Hooters all, every day yeah, almost. So you yeah. were only caring about the wings, of course. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. nothing else. And then else. went downstairs and watched Purple uh -huh. Rain, the house, <laughs> uh, who was like the house band there. Oh, yeah, they're every, a yeah. house great. band. Yeah. Yeah. How did you come up with the name Geechee Guy? It was, it's Japanese for crazy, and it was given to me in... Um, in college by an exchange student from Japan. Really? So, they just yeah. started calling, he or she well, just what started it was, calling them? I had these shorts that had all these different colors in them and they called them um, Geechee Guy shorts. And um, and I said, what does that mean? And they go, it just means crazy. Actually, it means like <laughs> madman. Like you really, Would you, you wear the same exact shorts all the time? Well, no, but they, they, the time I did wear them, they, oh. they, they called it that and I just, it just stuck. So I, um, I oh. and I liked it and kind of, um, it kind of fit. And then I also, um, and I wonder, I didn't know, you know, this, I was, literally a teenager right. and and I didn't um, and it worked okay and I, I didn't know how it would last you know I used to say I wonder how I'm gonna feel when I'm 50 <laughs> but um, <laughs> well but here we are stick it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and I'm okay with it so. so what would you be doing if you weren't a comedian gosh I don't, I don't know I mean I, I delivered a lot of pizzas before I started comedy <laughs> like for but um, I, I probably so, something like maybe radio or something okay. and, um, yeah. you know maybe like that I, I've I actually dabbled in publicity like a publicist. I think that's one of the reasons I s thought I wanted to be a publicist in, in high school, and I couldn't get anybody, any of the local bands to let me work for them, so I publicized my own <laughs> you act. You were too geeky. Wow. And, 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 well, well, I publicized my own act, yeah. and I got more, got to the point where I didn't, I was working as yeah. on my own act, so I, I actually got myself enough publicity that I didn't have to do publicity anymore. And speaking of acts, really quickly, you're going to be performing with uh, Ron White. Ron White, yes. This weekend and the following weekend? Yes, the next two weekends. At um, the Mirage. 6, 7, and 13, 14. Friday, Saturday night, 10 p.m. It's a late show, but it's, um, Ooh, and I'll do 15 minutes, fantastic. and he'll come out and do a dozen hours, so great guy. If you haven't seen him, he's, he's wonderful, and, and a we'll go great person, too. We'll both of you out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, please do. Yeah. Very, very funny. Oh, my We're glad you're here today. Oh, I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Thanks for having me. This is so fun. We're going to jump right into our trending